hey you guys it's your girl kim welcome back to my channel for another video you guys are probably wondering like okay what the heck like what is this video going to be about or what sit down lay down chill for a little bit because this is like a two-in-one video and here here's why originally i had planned to do this video with only a full face of color pop um, my previous video was a full face Morphe and I wanted to continue to do that so I headed to Colourpop.com picked out a few things that I needed to be able to do a full face of Colourpop and by the time my Colourpop items got here so did my BoxyCharm for February so now I have Colourpop and BoxyCharm right in front of me and I think I'm just going to do all of it in one video usually I do like a unboxing slash try on of my subscription box in a separate video I could do separate videos, one fully color pop and another one fully dedicated to BoxyCharm, but um, we're just going to go ahead and condense it all into one video. Plus, I already peeked into my Boxy box, my BoxyCharm box, and I didn't get anything really makeup related, a lot of like skincare stuff in there, so I thought I'm just going to condense it all into one video. So it's going to be a lot of new products in this video it might be overwhelming to some it might not be to others this is just how i want to do it in this video so hope that's okay with you guys so let's start with all the color pop items this is called color pops so juicy plumping gloss and i got it in the shade princess which is a clear gloss no color at all to it it's completely clear in this i may just go back to color pop and get a few different colors um, I was kind of being really quick with it, putting things in my cart on the website, so I just picked the clearest one. But I feel like I'm going to want to go back and pick out like some some different colors rather than clear. But yeah, I got a clear lip gloss, it's supposed to pump your lips from ColourPop, so I'm excited to try this out. This might be something that I chuck in in my purse or have on me in my pockets when I'm at work because I like to put on gloss or chapstick when I'm at work. I'm excited about this. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It says so juicy on the front and it's just plastic, like see-through plastic, like a plastic silver cap, you know, nothing crazy. The next thing here is um, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I already have a ColourPop concealer. Well, I already have a ColourPop, a pop. I'm so tired that I'm just like making up words and I don't know how to talk, I don't know how to use words, I don't know how to speak English. I already own a ColourPop concealer, but it's already gone. Like, I needed to repurchase this concealer. So I went ahead and bought a new one. I believe it's in the same shade. Let's see. Let me double check. Yep, Light 16. So they're both in the shade Light 16. This is just a repurchase because I am pretty much out of the one that I had. Next thing that I purchased from ColourPop is a loose setting powder. You're not going to be able to see it because, like, my lights are so bright, it's bouncing off of the packaging. Um, but, yeah, this is a no-filter setting loose setting powder in the shade Translucent. We will see how this sets the face. We'll see how this goes. Alright, I have two foundation options. Um, the first one is an, a foundation from ColourPop that I already own. This is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation that comes in the bottle. I've used this before. I've made videos with me using this foundation before. And I've actually have said and still still think that this is a really good foundation for like $8 from ColourPop. I really do like this foundation. But they also have a stick foundation. I do not own any stick foundations. I have never used any stick foundations. So... I bought the ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundation, and I got it in the shade Light 67N. And hopefully it's a good shade for me, but once you take it out of the packaging, this is what it looks like. It's just like a plastic white component with some silver on it, and then the, the lettering is also in silver. It's like nothing, you know, over the top. And yeah, this is a stick foundation, and I cannot wait to try it um it, it looks pretty dark actually but i feel that i'm neutral sometimes i feel that i'm more like a warm undertone sometimes i feel like my undertone is more pink or more red i feel like it just depends it just depends on my skin sometimes i can lean more my my undertone is it possible for your undertone to like fluctuate because i feel like mine does sometimes i feel like i'm more golden like in the summer sometimes i feel like i'm more neutral 
in the winter and then sometimes I feel like I'm because I get red around the cheeks I feel like maybe my undertone is more red like you can see around my cheeks I'm like definitely really red also let's talk about my skin real quick so I feel like since I've been sick um my skin's kind of acting up like it was really clear like the past two weeks but then as soon as I got sick then I started to get some stuff so I have pimples right here I got a little bit of pimples some some going on over here I got one on my neck um, some on my cheek this one on my forehead is making me violent to see a pimple on my forehead you don't even understand you don't even know but yeah um, my skin's not doing too good right now as far as like acne my acne is acting up a little bit so yeah just ignore that don't pay attention to that okay just act like it's not there but yeah so for foundation I'm, I have two options I have a liquid foundation and a stick foundation both from ColourPop so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up using a stick um I have used this liquid foundation I, like I said I, I already own this I've used it in videos before so if you're interested in the liquid foundation check out previous videos where I do use it if you're interested in the liquid okay next thing that I have here is a pressed powder bronzer from ColourPop you cannot see because the light my lights are reflecting so hard off of the packaging but hopefully if you can see that this is kind of what it looks like and then when you take it out oh by the way the bronzer shade that I got is called coconut beach I got out and I'm always dropping something but yeah that's the bronzer shade I think I'm pretty sure this was the lightest shade that they had and yeah so the next thing that I have here is this here I really like the packaging it's got roses and this is the super shock highlighter so this is a highlighter a very big highlighter like this is like really big packaging for a highlighter and this is in the shade the real thing and I'll go ahead and swatch it oh super soft powder so this is what it looks like on the finger and then when you swatch it so this is the shade the real thing it's like a peachy highlight like a champagne peach highlight okay and then the very last thing that i purchased from ColourPop is of course an eyeshadow palette and the one that i went with the bare necessities palette but this is what it looks like and i i don't know but like this caught my attention so much this is like a i feel like a really good go-to palette so excited to use this so excited can't wait to use that i know you can't tell but i'm excited we're gonna go ahead and move into boxycharm so the boxycharm box and I'm going to go ahead and open it. This is what is inside of it. The first thing that I'm seeing that right away caught my attention is I got a set of sponges from Luxie. I've never used Luxie before. I don't own anything from Luxie. So it's kind of cool that they, get, that they put this in my box for the month. So these are Luxie Complete Sponge Set. It's a Luxie Detail Blender, a Luxie Precision Blender, and then a Luxie Powder Blender. This is from First Aid Beauty, and it is Facial Radiance. It's a facial, it's facial radiant pads. Uh, helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten. So these are just facial pads that exfoliate and brighten your skin. The plain and simple. Pretty cool. It says it's alcohol, it's alcohol free, which is nice because we don't want to put alcohol on the face. Um, but yeah, this is from Kate Somerville. This is the um bio mimicking peptides serum that helps smooth and firm your skin um it says to apply am and pm apply one or two drops to cleansed skin um this one this is supposed to have a five peptide blend which is supposed to target loss of elasticity and firmness while visibly reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles so yeah this is um a serum for the face from Kate Somerville. I've never used Kate Somerville, but I have seen this brand floating around here and there on social media. Um, so this is pretty cool that I got this. And then the next thing that I got is a pack of wipes from Evo Skin X Aurora Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. Huh. It has cannabis sativa seed oil, um, balancing multifunctional anti fatigue. What is this? What? what? I'm confused. It says on the back here, 
Aurora Cannabis is one of the world's largest cannabis companies and is defining the future of cannabis worldwide. The Aurora certified label ensures quality thoughtfully curated with EVO to provide a unique hemp-based product. The Aurora certified cannabis sativa oil, hemp, used in all collaborative EVO Skin X Aurora products is 100% grown in Canada. As with all Aurora products, you can trust that these are lab tested and have received the Aurora seal of approval. So these are just facial wipes that are infused with cannabis oil, which is also called hemp. Cool. It doesn't say that it removes makeup or anything like that. Um, directions. Gently massage a single EVO skin refreshing cleansing hemp wipe over face in a circular motion, taking care around the eyes, no need to rinse. For maximum results, follow with EVO Skin Rejuvenating Mask and Revitalizing Serum two times per week. Yeah, so this is just a cleansing wipe that is infused with cannabis oil. And then the very, very last thing that I got in this month's Boxy Charm is from Siate London. This is called Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Oh! Coconut? What shade is a coconut like for powder? Actually, it's like white. It's a white setting powder that they put in my box. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Maybe it's coconut scented. Maybe it's made from coconuts. I don't know what's going on. This is what it looks like. It's like a white setting powder. So I might use this to set under my eyes and then use the ColourPop setting powder all over the face. We shall see. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, 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 okay. Enough. I'm not using anything from BoxyCharm except the sponges and this powder. Everything else is ColourPop. So, I think I'm going to be fast forwarding. I'm not going to be talking. You're just going to see a lot of fast forwarding and a lot of like background music while I do my makeup. You guys, I did my makeup and I didn't like the way that it turned out. So, I took it all off. And because I had just got home from work, I chilled for a little bit. I lay down in bed. I didn't go to sleep yet. And it's like already like 8, 8.30, almost 9 a.m. Haven't slept since 6 p.m. yesterday. So I've been up for quite some time. And um, started making the video. Did my makeup, full face color pop, and I didn't like it. The eyeshadow did not come out. And then I did fix it did some things to it to a point where I was okay with it and then I messed it up with some black liquid liner tried to do like a graphic black liquid liner um totally fucked everything up so I was like fuck it stopped doing makeup took my makeup off and just decided to take a minute to just chill watch some Hulu lay in bed for a little bit and then I decided to dye my hair which is why my hair is wet I just rinsed off the hair dye um like to touch up the roots and stuff and I'm ready to try try it again so yeah um so let me brush my hair out real quick and then I can go ahead and start doing my makeup it's just gonna be a lot of fast forwarding through everything and with some music playing in the background so I hope you guys enjoy this round two oh. yeah, 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 yeah.
except one thing. So, as I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, I had two options for foundations. I had the no filter liquid foundation and then the no filter stick foundation. When, it, when I finished up the eyeshadow and moved on to my foundation, I used this first because this is what I wanted to use in the video because I, ha I already have videos with me using the liquid foundation from ColourPop. So I wanted to use the stick foundation, hence why I bought it. Anyway, it's a thick cream and I found it kind of hard to blend it and that's why you guys saw me switch to the liquid foundation because I already know I like this foundation. And remember, this is round two. In the first round, I did a full full face of this foundation and I actually didn't like the way it looked on my skin. It felt heavy and it looked heavy. Um, so yes, I mean I guess I should have known it was going to be like that because it's a thick cream. It's not a liquid foundation, it's a thick cream basically. So you know it's going to look a little bit more makeup y, it's going to look a little more thick. Right now I'm in the middle, 50-50. I have to use this more, grow a relationship with this foundation and see where that leads. I can't tell you if I hate it or if I like it. I only can tell you like what I experienced personally using this foundation for the first time. And there you go. Also because I dyed my hair, I have a little bit of hair dye on my actual skin right here. You can kind, kind of tell that I got some spots where the hair dye stained my skin. Even on my body right here i got hair dye right here so so yeah leave a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next a skincare routine or me doing my makeup with my eyes closed yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye